1968's Lincoln sent struck on a proof dime planchet. Graded as PR64 cameo by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, a rare wrong planchet error involving modern US mint proof coinage. The scent design is well centered on the dime planchet, all devices sharply rendered with a frosty texture that contrasts markedly with deeply reflective fields. Bright and brilliant with outstanding visual appeal. Although the San Francisco Mint was engaged in striking both proof and circulation strike scents in 1968, the facility struck only proof dimes that year. This planchet was clearly intended for proof dime coinage, finding its way by mistake into a scent press and producing this rare error. It was sold for $2,520. Number 6. 1925 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 64 Red and Brown by PCGS and further endorsed by CAC. According to NGC, despite a fairly substantial mintage, 1925 S. Cents of desirable quality are quite scarce. Worn examples are quite common from widespread hoarding during the 1930s 50s, and Mint State pieces of so so quality are likewise available. Fully red gems are very rare and tend to be much darker in shade than Philadelphia Mint Cents. This penny ended up selling for $2,937.50. Number 5. 1989 D. Lincoln Cent Struck on a Pre-1983 Cent Planchet. An elusive mint error with weight of 3.1 grams. Graded as MS65 Red by PCGS. The smooth, satiny surfaces retain full pinkish rose luster and the strike is full. A few swirls of very slightly variegated color along the lower right reverse border might explain why PCGS did not assign an even higher numeric grade. In 1982, the United States Mint changed the metallic composition of the small scent from 95% copper, 5% zinc to copper-plated zinc. The core of the latter composition is 99.2% zinc, 8% copper with a plating of pure copper. This seldom encountered penny fetched a sum of $3,525. Number 4. 1999 Lincoln sent over struck on a 1999 P. Roosevelt dime. This coin was also struck 50% off center as you can see. Graded in Mint State 68 by NGC. A properly struck Roosevelt dime accidentally found its way into a scent press, where it received a 30% off center impression at 1 o'clock. The obverses are aligned, but the dime design is near completely upside down in relation to that of the scent. It was sold for $4,320. Number 3. 1951 Lincoln scent in MS67 plus red condition. Vivid rose and light orange surfaces are sharply struck, fully lustrous and expertly preserved. Among the finest certified survivors from a sizable mintage of 294,576,000 coins. This one is clearly one of the superb gem survivors. It ended up selling for $7,200. Number 2. 1911 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 read by PCGS and later confirmed by CAC. Scarce P mint to locate with the red designation. According to David Lawrence Coin Auction. This penny displays impeccable strike with rich, matte-like luster. CAC approved for quality and eye appeal. It ended up selling for $9,009. Number 1. 1910s Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over S. According to Stax Bowers, a pristine example of this rare variety with vibrant olive gold coloration across each side. The fields are blanketed in a dense, matte-like luster, complementing the more satiny texture of the devices. Incredibly sharp throughout and spared from notable blemishes of any sort. A highly sought-after variety, the 1910 SFS 502 is an underrated variety that sits in the shadow of more famous varieties like the 1958 and 1969 S. However, advanced Lincoln collectors recognize its true rarity and it is often the jewel in the most specialized collections. It is listed among the top 100 repunched mint mark varieties by both Konica and Wexler. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.